Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to FTB Interactions. So, since last episode, it actually hasn't been a long time since the last episode. Uh, I mean, everything's pretty much still the same, <laughs> but I have been working on some food stuff, and uh, if we pop up here, uh, hopefully this stuff has grown enough that we can harvest some of it. Um, I did get the other crops that we needed. I got them planted. Radishes I'm still waiting on. And I got my chicken moved over there. Um, oh, all of our walls are gone. That's one thing that's changed. <laughs> we don't have any more walls. I went ahead and pulled them up because they really weren't doing much other than just blocking our view. And um, we're going to be out of this area fairly soon anyways. So I did go ahead and pull those up. And let me gather up just a little bit of this stuff. Unfortunately, most of the stuff isn't grown yet. So... Well, that's okay. I got scallions, cabbage, and rice, and then I, over here I have radishes uh, planted as well. Um, but they're not grown, so I'm going to give those just a little bit, and we're going to get some of the some of the other stuff done, and then we will um, we'll come back to that. Actually, I need to get 33 cinnamon, <laughs> 33 cinnamon per harvest. That's awesome. You get uh, from those type things, you get three per harvest, and I'm going to go ahead and just grind all of that up because I need it. I need it ground up. So anyways, this fridge right here is basically, I'm going to keep like two stacks. And uh, eventually, in due time, we're going to be able to get the preservation chamber. Um, I guess, technically, we could go ahead and get this. I mean, I need nether quartz. But you know what? I actually got, when we were exploring, I got a little bit of nether quartz. So I should at least get, um, honestly, I'd like to get at least three preservation chambers. So we're going to do a little bit of food, food related stuff because that's an ongoing kind of thing. We're going to do a little bit of that and then we're going to switch gears. Oh no, you know what it is? It's over here. I have to find the tree. Oh, and I did get these leggings. They have protection one on them. So I'm wearing those because I broke all my armor. Um, but anyways, there was, a, there was a chest around here and I've got to find... I've got to find it. I misplaced it. <laughs> right there, actually. Those cobwebs are a great sign. Yeah, right here, there's three nether quartz in this. And I'm actually going to go ahead and just mark that as chest. I'll come back and we'll gather up uh, the rest of that stuff. I'm just not in any rush and it's just going to clutter up my, my limited inventory space right now. Um, I could make a bunch of chests, but um, I haven't. And that's three. That's perfect, actually. That is perfect. So we're going to need to get ourselves some redstone, for starters. Let's see. It looks like the squeezer would probably be our best bet for right now. Um, and I'm going to need three, four, five, six per. So we'll go ahead and just do four of these. And I need to make myself a pressure plate. And we'll just put this down. Uh, there's my squeezer. We'll put that down next to the squeezer. And basically redstone's going to reset this. So there we go. Um, but what the preservation chamber does is it's going to keep us from wasting, um, or not really wasting, but it's going to keep us from being able to use the last item in, in a slot. Okay, so there's that. Let me get some sticks. We actually kind of lucked out getting, um, getting that nether quartz there, and I can't think of much else. Um, you know, during the stream we looked at, I would like to make uh, kitchen floors, but that's not going to be a possibility for a little while. So, oh, and then I need stone. And actually, three of these is perfect for what I want to do right now. And then I'm going to need uh, six iron plates. And right now, our best method to make this... I thought I heard a zombie. It may have been that cow. Our best method to make this is just crushing it. Um, so that, we get our double iron ingots, and then crush them again, we get iron plates. Okay. And that means we can get our preservation chambers for our fridges. Awesome. Okay, and we'll get into those here in just a second. Because that way I can quit having to sort this. Like every time I craft something, I'm like, okay, well, I'm missing this now. And I need to add it back in and it's a pain and I don't like it. <laughs> so we can fix that. Okay, um, but basically all of this, like these five things plus the turkey, these are all used for making our thankful dinners. 
all the rest of the stuff is for the Korean dinner that we're about to get into. Um, it does take a lot of ingredients, but it's actually fairly easy to make. Um, but anyways, we can take our preservation chambers and we can just right click that and then come over here. Oh, wait. I guess I dropped it. Okay. Um, we can come over here and let me just set that. And we can right click that. And you can actually see it says upgrade preservation chamber. And then uh, this one over here doesn't matter right now. We will eventually add preservation chambers and really kind of sort out ingredients. But right now it doesn't matter. So and then we'll add a preservation chamber to that one. Okay, so then if I was to come over and, for example, like um, milk. Let's see, the main thing I've been using this for has been making heavy cream. I don't think... Oh, and cheese. I make cheese with it, but uh, I've got plenty of cheese built up. Okay, so let me let me come over here and let me make some heavy cream. Now, normally, this would basically pull all the milk out and just craft whenever I shift-click this. Um, okay, I got a stack and a stack and 15. Okay, I didn't make a full stack there at the end, but if we come over here, you can see that uh, it left one milk in all these slots. Now, I can still pull this out, but it's not going to ever use that. That way, I can easily see what I'm missing um, and kind of fill it back up, you know, as I, as I get the stuff. So, and that's going to do that for all three of these, so I don't have to worry about uh, replacing and, and all that mess, because that's no fun. Um, okay, so then what we are going to do, now that that's in place, I need to set this up, because right now I'm actually having to manually pull all this turkey out, and it does take a while. I mean, I don't think I have a whole lot of turkey. I've got one in there and two in there. Um, but what we're going to do, just to make this a little bit quicker, is we're going to make ourselves some conveyor belts at long last. Um, and for this, we're going to need a bit of plastic, which is dry rubber, which is uh, sticky resin that's being dried on a drying rack. And we're going to need quite a bit of that. So let me go... Let me go pop over here. We've got some sticky resin, but I'm probably going to have to get some more because I'm going to need... Um, Honestly, four conveyors should be fine for what I need, but I need an extraction conveyor, which is a little bit more plastic. Um, and then I'm going to need an insertion conveyor. Let's see, extraction is, okay, so just rice slime ball then. Let's see, how much did we need? Six, seven, eight. I'm one short, basically. <laughs> awesome. And then I'm also going to have to make a whole bunch of stone gears, um, which are just sticks and cobblestone. So I'm just going to grab, let's see, we'll grab a stack of sticks and we'll grab a stack of cobblestone and that should be, that should be fine. And then we'll go ahead and get those. And I got the advancement, geologically mechanical. Um, okay, so I put my drying racks away. Let me pull these out. For right now, we're going to place these right here. Naturally, we're going to do it in style, so. We're going to be moving a lot of this stuff over to the snow base here very, 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 very soon. So, possibly even during this episode, moving some stuff over. I'm not for sure. We'll see. And can I just... Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to... Oh, there we go. Never mind. I was about to say, I'm not going to be able to... Uh... Oh, I can't. I actually cannot vein mine that. That's like one of the few trees that we cannot vein mine. Okay, let's pop over here. I actually probably had the rubber wood. I probably didn't have to do that, but that's fine. And we're going to drop this into there and get ourselves a bit more sticky resin. Uh, that'll be fine, actually. And we'll go ahead and get this stuff drying. And there's a bit of our rubber okay and then uh, back to the conveyor belts which I guess I should go ahead and get this stuff smelting up we'll drop that into there and I'm gonna grab like two pieces of coal and this stuff's already converted this stuff on the drying racks converts super fast so all right and you can cook that in the kiln if you so desire um, and then for the extraction, we're going to need a slime ball. And then for the insert, we need a whopper, which I've already got that. Okay, so let me whip up a slime ball just really, really quick. Oh, and by the way, I have toughness. Uh, you may have noticed. 
Uh, that's from getting my nutrition up. Vegetables is up to 97%. Protein is closing in. Um, once you hit 90% and above, you get another rank of toughness. So at max, you get toughness five, uh, which is wonderful. <laughs> and uh, so we're about to, we're going to have toughness five here very, 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 very soon. So probably, I'll probably eat one of these Korean dinners as soon as we get that done. So, which we're about to go get that stuff together to make that. So there's our white conveyor belt. Quest completed, quest completed. Automate all the things and white conveyor belt. Uh, if we take a look here, that's actually from the very first tab. And we, oh, we get an insertion conveyor and an extraction conveyor as a reward. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and just take those. And I'm actually still going to go ahead and craft the other, uh, another copy of these. Just because I have the resources and we're going to need them. Um, conveyors are going to be super useful as we progress. And then the automate all the things is probably, yeah, right here. So we got white conveyor belt. Um, okay, and let me go ahead and harvest what I can off of this, and this time around, this should be enough for us to start making some Korean dinners, so. Okay, so there we go. I'm really low on cabbage right now, so I may pop back over there here in just a second and see if I can get some cabbage. But anyways, what we're going to do is, actually I will need two extraction conveyors anyways, so, now that I think about it. Um, so what we are going to do is... Let's see. And this is all going to get refined a bit later on once we have some other tools because I'm going to have like a big furnace type setup over here. Um, but what we'll do is we're going to set up our chest just setting like right there. And we're going to have an insertion conveyor. Um, oh yeah, I'm going to have to make... These are upgrades and not the actual conveyors. I'm going to have to make another batch of conveyors actually. <laughs> Okay, so there is our other conveyor. So we've got six of those. That sounds good. And then, let me go ahead and drop this stuff into there. It's going to take a little while for this stuff to build up, but here soon, when everything's growing and I'm not harvesting it, as soon as I get it. Uh, no, I want... Oh, you can't do that thing with these. Where you jump. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to... Actually, I wonder if, I'm not actually sure if this works. If I put an extraction upgrade on this, no. I put it right there. Okay, that works. And then what I'll do is set up another conveyor right there with another extraction upgrade. And you can see it pulls out the turkey. And then it should, oh yeah, I need to put an insertion upgrade right that let me do that okay it's gonna it should insert into the chest so this one should be just about done and we should see it get pulled out get sent over to the chest and deposited there we go okay and there we go we have cooked turkey awesome good stuff and then really we could take it a step further and just have it run over to the the fridges but I'm not gonna do that just yet we're gonna do that later um, and have the fridges managed. So, um, so anyways, that is set up. Awesome. And then what I want to do, now we're actually at the point where we can start turning our attention to the Korean dinner. And this, we are going to need a cutting board. Let me pop over and make one of these because I like to have them in the crafting stations right now because it allows me to kind of manage it a little bit better than just having the cooking type on, having that big bulk of stuff. Um, I think the cook, I wish cooking for blockheads would get like a, like some updates to its UI. That would be awesome because, um, like imagine if cooking for blockheads, if you could open it up and, uh, you could like bookmark certain recipes and like you could pull up that recipe and click on like the subsequent parts and craft those or, you know, even if you had all the ingredients for all the subsequent parts, just click it and it crafts all of it. It might be a little bit OP then because it would be like actually like an AE system for your food. But uh, it would be kind of cool if there was some like UI updates because it's been pretty pretty much the same where you just have that little bitty box you have to scroll through um, or search in. But it's still super useful and I wouldn't trade it for anything. But uh, <laughs> I do like having the crafting stations to kind of 
kind of consolidate the main recipes that we're making, especially since we're making the ultimate foods. It's just going to help us out a lot um, as far as organizing those things. Okay, so there is our cutting board. And let's pop back over. Let's drop the cutting board into here. This is going to be our Korean dinner. So the first thing, well, actually, let's go ahead and just get some lettuce because that's simple. And we can knock something off of the list very, very easily. So there's 64 lettuce. Then we need to make bulgogi. And bulgogi is beef, any kind of raw beef. Um, garlic, black pepper, sugar, or honey, um, ginger, scallions, and soy sauce. Soy sauce is soybean, salt, and water. We are going to have to make a juicer. Um, and to do this, um, oh, actually, I have the stone on me. So let's get a stone pressure plate, and there's our juicer. Okay. And I need to make another one of these tool racks. I'll get that made uh, later. <laughs> so anyways, um, our soy sauce. This, let's go ahead and order a stack of that. And I'm just going to drop that. That's actually going to go right in here. And then with that, we can make bulgogi. And let's go ahead and get ourselves, um, let's say 17. 17 bulgogi. So next up, we need oma rice, which is beef, rice, scallions, carrots, onions, and eggs. Easy enough. And once again, I'm going to get, uh, oh, what am I missing? Probably beef. I bet I ran out of beef. No, I've got beef. Oh, you know what? I bet I ran out of scallions. I'll bet. Okay, so we're only going to get uh, nine on the rice. And then the other thing that we need is kimchi, which is salt, cabbage, garlic, ginger, radish, scallions. Um, I'm actually going to use ginger again here and then sesame seed. But I am going to need some more scallions before I can make any kimchi. So let me pop over. And if you're not on the Discord, I actually made kimchi not too long ago. <laughs> In real life. But uh, we made quite a bit of it. Okay, well, I've got three scallions. Um, that's fine. And I'll make, I'll make more once I get some more scallions. Starting out, these foods are going to be tough to craft. But honestly, I'm at the point where I could, like, whip up a lot of thankful dinners. Like, very, very easily. So, it gets better. <laughs> It gets much better. So, kimchi, we're just going to make as much as we can, which is three. Drop that into there. There we go. We now have Korean dinners. Another top tier food. And this one is grain, protein, vegetables. So, it's missing the dairy and the fruit. Uh, that's fine. But it's 8.4% to those three, which is pretty massive. So, we'll go ahead and drop that into there. And I should actually probably make up some more thankful dinners. So, let me get, um, let me get just a bit of cranberry jelly. I guess I should have just made like a stack. I'm just going to do like a half stack for now. And then we need the sweet potato pie, which I'm going to go ahead and just craft. There's 18. And I'm going to run out of mashed potatoes and buttered bread. Okay, I'll make 49. That sounds good. 49 bread. And then we'll go ahead and get, there's 49 toast. Awesome. So I shouldn't be running out of that anytime soon. Um, let's see. I'm actually 23.26% on nutritional value at the moment on these. Which isn't good. I need to add more food to this. But I'm going to go ahead and get six of these. And then I'm going to get some other kind of food to fill for right now. Like maybe... Actually, fruit crumble would be really good because it's dairy, fruit, and grain. And dairy and fruit are going to be the things that I'm probably going to be lacking. So there's uh, six of those. Actually, let's go ahead and get ten of those. And then kind of looking for things that have fruit and dairy in them, ideally. Actually, I'm going to make some Fiesta corn salad. So I'm just going to get like six. No, no not that. So there's nine of those. Okay, so we've got thankful dinners and Korean dinners. And uh, next next episode, as far as food goes, we'll work on, uh, give me a second, I'm going to take a look. Actually, we'll probably work on Southern Style Breakfast next. It's super easy, too. Uh, this stuff, and most of the stuff we've already got built up, so this is going to be a really easy one. So we'll work on that one probably next, next episode, as far as our food for the day goes. Okay, I went ahead and made a few more Korean dinners. <laughs> So we're in good shape. Next episode, the food's going to be quick. We won't have to do conveyors. So we'll move straight into probably starting steam um, or soon. They're 
getting towards steam, starting steam in that episode, I think. Um, but anyways, now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and turn our attention to the ne uh, the Necronomicon, the Thaumonomicon. Um, and right here we have first steps. They want us to get um, an arcane workbench. And um, you actually see, yeah, that's going to be types of knowledge, theory crafting. We need to get the research table and the scribing tools. Um, okay, so let's let's go ahead and work on that. Um, but anyways, to get started, I'm not going to read through the Thaumonomicon. I'm just going to move kind of quickly through this. We covered it um, very, very in-depth. Some things have changed slightly, which we'll go over those uh, when it comes time. But uh, I'm going to need to make up um, a couple batches, actually, of low covalence dust. So let me... See, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to pop over... And since we've got these, we're going to use them for things other than food, too. So I'm going to go ahead and get some low-grade charcoal um, cooking up. And we're going to go ahead and just make ourselves up a bunch of covalence dust. Because we use it a lot, so we might as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and get a stack of flint. And we're just going to make up as many... Um, I've got five infinity dust in here. But I'm going to go ahead and pop down and make a bunch more of it. Just as much as I possibly can with the XP that I have. Because sooner or later I'm going to die and there's no use wasting it. We might as well just stock up on grains of infinity uh, for right now. Alright, so let's go ahead and just let's go crazy with this. Okay, so there's 34 grain uh, infinity dust. And then we've got 8 low grade charcoal. That should be good to get us started. Um, but we're going to be making a lot of Salus Mundus. I think we could probably still use the original recipe. Um, where you use the three V crystals and all that. But honestly, this is actually cheaper. It might be a little bit more um, involved to craft, I guess. But we don't have to use up a whole bunch of V crystals to do this. So that's good. And then we're going to get our low covalence dust. There's 36 of that. And then we're going to take this and do that. And then I just need four V crystals. And so there's four Salus Mundus. Oh no, the Stone Mallet, I guess, is about... Oh no, I'm out of mana. Okay, let me get some more of that. There we go. There's four Salus Mundus. Okay, and then what we're going to need to do is... Let's get ourselves a crafting table. Oops. There's that. We're going to throw this down. Uh, let's put it right here for right now. That's fine. Um... And then we're going to take our Salus Mundus and just right-click it. And it's going to transform it into the Arcane Workbench. So there we go. And I think, yeah, that's going to count it. And we'll go ahead and complete that. And then we need to get ourselves a Thaumometer so we can start scanning stuff. This is basic starting Thaumcraft stuff. We're going to need four gold plates and a 100% mana orb. Um, which requires that we get uh, four... Okay, that's easy enough. We're going to need glass panes. Let me, uh, I've actually got these. And I didn't look. Are glass panes standard in this pack? Do I just do that? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just turn all these into glass orbs. Because they're probably going to need them over time. Maybe. And then let's get ourselves a bucket of this. And what we're going to do is take this and throw it in there. And you can see we got 100% mana orb. Okay. And then we need the four gold plates. Which I've actually got six gold. Um, and then this right here. Do we want to go ahead and... Yeah, actually I should do this the right way. <clears throat> so let's break that down. We got three crushed gold. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make a cauldron. Um, which for this we're going to need wrought iron plates. Let's see, what do we need to make wrought iron in this pack? Uh, burn burn uh, iron into wrought iron. Okay. So, and I'm going to need... Oh man, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to need 14, uh, 14 iron. And we're just going to throw that in the fire. It's going to put off some particle effects. And here in just a moment. I don't know. I don't think it's going to take longer with uh, multiples. So. I've used uh, this mod quite a bit in, in my pack in world crafting. 
So there we go. We got 14 wrought iron ingots. Perfect. And then, oh yeah, I'm not, not going to be able to craft that in my little crafting grid. By the way, by chance, let me look at cyclic. Okay, we don't have the, the cakes. And there's no crafting table on a stick or anything. We're going to have to get the one from Batania, it looks like. Um, unless the Philosopher's Stone works. You know, I haven't tested that in a while. I don't know if that's... If we can use that now as uh, portable crafting or not. Nope. Inventory crafting is still locked. That's fine. We don't need that right this second anyways. Let's go ahead and get our double wrought iron and then our wrought iron plates. And then... Actually, I think it was uh, this. That. There's our cauldron. Okay, and one other thing that I'm going to want, I have just enough iron for this. Um, I'm going to want to make a well. Another well from Pam's Harvest Craft. Just so we have an, another one to work with. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to set this up... Uh, this area is such a big mess. It's terrible. We're going to set this up like right there. And our cauldron. And then dump some water in that. And then what we can do is we can take... Uh, oh yeah, i gotta, I got to make this to impure piles of gold dust. And then we're going to take this and we're going to throw it into the cauldron. There we go. And it uses a third per ore. So we got three gold dust and then we can just smelt this. Um... Okay, we can't use the alloy kiln. We can either smelt it or we can use the melter, and it's one for one. Okay. So I'll tell you what, since I'm already making this, let me go ahead and get enough to make, uh, like, eight. And, of course, bear in mind that the hammer, it's not always going to double, just sometimes. So we will get 100% doubling in due time, just not yet. Okay, so we got our eight gold dust. We'll go ahead and throw this into... We'll go ahead and throw this into there. There we go. It's going to start running. But once we get into steam, we'll be able to get the mass rider. That's going to be one of the first things that we go for. And then we'll be able to uh, uh, to make this a whole lot easier. So, all right. There is our eight gold. And then we'll go ahead and turn this into plates. Go. And the thermometer was just, it's crafted... Yeah, it's just crafted in here. So, and you can see there's 239 available V, and I didn't look at the V that we're going to need. Yeah, it looks like just 20. Yeah, just 20 V. We don't need V crystals, I guess, for this part. Okay, so it's going to take 20 V. There's 239 in our area, in our chunk, which is actually pretty good, and it's going to regenerate slowly um, on its own. So then what we can do is we can run around and... Just start scanning all the things, basically. And you're going to see little things pop up on the side there. And this does scan everything that's in chests. So chests are a great place to start. There we go. We're getting all kinds of things here. Okay, and we should be able to scan this stuff in our inventory, too. Just by hovering over it. There we go. Okay, so we've learned lots of things. And then if we take our Thaumonomicon and we open this up, uh, this is completed. We've got fundamentals done. If we look at our knowledge totals, you can see this is how much of everything that we've got, which is actually pretty good for starting out, which those, we'll run through those pretty quick. Um, okay, so that tab is done. Then we can open up Discovering Alchemy. We need one Alchemy Observation and one Fundamentals Observation. We've already got that. So we're going to go ahead and complete that. And they want us to make a crucible. And so for this, we're going to need another cauldron. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of our iron. I'm just going to take uh, like yellow limonite. And I'm going to start breaking this down and cleaning it. Because we don't really need to use the melter anymore. Now we can just start using this. And, uh, okay, I can't, I can't vein mine that. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I could, because I would be able to vein mine it down. Uh, whoa, okay. Never mind. We got more than enough, actually. We have 51 crushed limonite. Oh, wait. I need to clean this first. I got centrifuged yellow limonite. I don't even know. That makes yellow limonite dust. Actually, I guess I could. You can wash it first. Is that? Can you do that? I don't know. I've never even tried it. 
Yeah, you can wash it first and it comes out to be the same thing. And then you just hammer it, basically. Uh, let me just throw all of that in there. And then what we can do is we can just do this. Oh, wow! Oh, that's cool! Okay, so this is really, really neat. I didn't realize you could do this. I don't know. I think it's probably a bug. But uh, anyways, what we can do is say we have like this crushed lapis. All right? And we take this and we purify it. We're going to get impure piles of lapis. And then what we can do is we can take all of this at once, throw it in there, and it only takes one segment of the water and it washes all of it. So, um, but this, I would love to get lapis right now, but we can't because um, we have to wait until we get the autoclave, basically. I think it'll be like the first point that we can do that, uh, which is going to be LV power. So, we talked about that in the stream, actually, uh, last night, so... Okay, and our yellow limonite. Oh, this only smelts up to nuggets. That's why we got so much of it. So, yeah, really the limonite, I guess, for now. Um, do I have any more of that? Yeah, I've got some here. The limonite, actually, for right now, I'm just going to... Uh, I don't know what's in there. Oh, I'm still I'm still melting down iron. I've been, I've been melting the banded iron because it comes out to be nuggets, too. And I don't really want that, so that's why I've been melting that. Actually, I think we've probably got extra hearts now, too, don't we? I mean, think about that. Which, um, I could probably eat and boost my protein. Yeah, we're at 90%, so we have, uh, oh no, I guess it has to be over 90% to get the next tier of toughness. But yeah, we've got two extra hearts now. And I guess really I should get three more blocks of iron so we can make the tool forge, but... We'll do that later. I don't even know if I want to... I'm not even going to bother smelting that right now. It's not worth my time and effort. Uh, once we get a little bit farther, once we get some steam power, we'll deal with it. But um, honestly, that stuff I'd rather just cook into ingots because I don't care. Until you automate it, it's not worth messing with all those nuggets. It's just too much junk. Okay, I went ahead and ate one of those Korean dinners, and we're up to toughness too. We were actually at 98% and 100%. On the proteins and vegetables. Uh, grain steadily getting there. It's the dairy and fruit that's going to take a little while. But we'll get it. Um, especially once we get some other meals crafted up and stuff. Um, it's just there's not a whole lot. Even with the ultimate foods. There's not a whole lot that have that. But once you get it up to 100%. Uh, what foods we have should keep it up there. So. Um, okay. So let's get ourselves. Another cauldron. And then what we can do is we can just drop this on the ground, hit it with our Salus Mundus, quest completed, crucible, and we'll go ahead and grab that. Okay, so that's complete, and that means we've unlocked the alchemy tab. Whoops. And there was a quest, um, I'm assuming it's under magic stick, yeah, it's right here. So the crucible, and then they want us to make alchemical brass, which is my first objective, uh, that I want to do. I also want to do the Everfull Urn, uh, which is fairly easy to make. We're going to get into that. Um, you can do Glowstone, which, uh, yeah, we could, uh, no, that's for doubling, though. But uh, there is a way, yeah, right here, the Tiny Piles of Glowstone, which takes conv uh, covalent, medium covalence dust. So we can make Glowstone before we go to the Nether. But, um, anyways, this is what I actually want to make. And this we make by throwing copper in with instrumentum. Okay, so let's go set this up right there. And we have to figure out a good source for instrumentum. And from what I understand, it is disabled in this pack um, to be able to just look it up through JEI. Yes. Um, there's also... Let's see, there's also theory crafting. Um, we'll get into that later. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that right this second. Uh, basic alchemy. There we go. We've learned basic alchemy. And um, alchemical metallurgy. We need to get this. We've already got that. We just need to get an alchemical brass ingot um, to complete that. So let's go ahead. Um, instrumentum. What would be the best source of instrumentum? Shears have 12. I'm going to go ahead and get some copper broken down. Um, which I've got all of this. So let's go ahead. We're going to need a lot of copper here soon. Like a whole bunch. 
So there we go, we got a quest complete, and I think we're now we're going through the quest on the metallurgy section. We are. And then they want us to get tin dust, copper dust, bronze dust. Bronze ingot, copper ingot. Tin, bronze. We're not going to do the bronze dust just yet, but uh, that's okay. Let's go ahead and throw that in there, and we're going to get a stack of copper dust. And we'll just go over here, we'll just get that smelting up. I mean, I could melt it. Which might be more efficient. Actually, yeah, that's done. I'm just going to melt it. Because lava's easy. And, uh... It won't take but a second. Okay, but our glass is done. Let's go ahead and get that. And apparently task complete. Eight times glass. <laughs> um, and then I need some clay. And there we go. There is 16 glass vials. And, um, i tell you what, actually, our cauldron, let's see, I'm going to need some low-grade charcoal, and I guess really I should make another whale, um, just to make our lives a little bit easier, because we're going to be doing our crafting on our little Skyblock Island. It's like our main use, I guess, for the Skyblock Island at this point. Um, it's basically turning it into a big nasty place. So, shears are 12 instrumentum. Um, I'm going to grab five of these. There's some other sources. Let's see, plastic is five. Yeah, give me just a second. I'm going to say, um, shovels are eight instrumentum. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's do island home. And let's warp back to our home island real quick. I think I'm going to use shovels, stone shovels. Those are cheap, easy, and, um, it's probably not the most ideal thing for making brass but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter um, at all actually we could use one of these fires too i wouldn't even need the low-grade charcoal um, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our cauldron just right on top of the fire and i'm actually going to go ahead and just put out these other fires because uh, that way nothing falls in there um, by some freak accident or something and then we're going to set up our whale right there and you know what i did not bring well, I can't chop that. Okay, one second. I need uh, I need a crafting table. I'm just going to grab one of these. I can replace it. <laughs> um, and let's set up our crafting station right there. And what we are going to do is we're going to grab ourselves some water. The alchemical brass was just five instrumentum, right? Yes, it was. Okay, great. Um, and so what we're going to do, let's get ourselves one, two three, four, five shovels, and then, let's see, it's going to be eight instrumentum that we're going to make, and let's go ahead, and this is bubbling, it's ready, let's go ahead and throw our stone shovels in there, and then throw our copper, there we go, quest complete, alchemical brass, now things are getting spicy, all but the worst monsters known to this world will now be unleashed on you, hope you're prepared, because the rest of us Probably aren't. Thanks for that. Okay. I guess alchemical brass moves us into the Bronze Age. <laughs> that means we're going to start running into mutant staves. Good. Good stuff. Well, I guess that means that technically we could make bronze now without worrying. So what do you say we make some bronze? We've got alchemical brass now. I'm actually going to need a bunch of that. Um, I'm going to craft up more, you know, between episodes. But um, all right, our copper is being made. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and take this. Let's crush this down. And I'm going to finish crushing this down. And then let me get uh, some of this tin. And I'm just going to do like a half... Uh, no, let me actually go ahead and do a full stack. Because I'm going to need to smelt some of this stuff up too. So, And I'm going to have to make a new hammer soon. Okay, so there's that stuff. And then we can just pow... And then, pow. And then what we can do is we can take this copper and our tin, craft that together and we get bronze dust. So there we go. We have quest complete, quest complete, quest complete. <laughs> because we've made alchemical brass, we've made bronze. And if we look inside of here, that quest is done, that quest is done, that quest is done. So all we have to do now is just get some bronze ingots. 
Um, and we should just be able to, I think we could melt it or we could smelt it. Um, since this is running, well, it's actually almost done. I also need to get this tin uh, converted over too. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to smelt some of this just because I can. And then I'm going to throw in like some bronze and some tin and that stuff will run next. Okay. Oh, I had, uh, oh yeah, I was smelting that earlier. Um, we've got bronze ingots. There we go. And quest complete bronze ingot. So yay. And now there's a chance we might run into some of those mutant staves. The, I don't know what they're called. The evil staves or whatever. Mutant stave. Okay. So we have to kill one of those. All right. But at least now we have bronze and we have alchemical brass, which means we could technically start into steam at this point. So, yay. Good stuff. Okay, now the next thing that I want to do, I've actually been over here. It's been, um, I don't know, a couple days since I cut. Uh, of course, I have been busy with some real life stuff, but I have started working over here a little bit. It's very, very rough. And actually, I don't think I'm going to keep these black, uh, these corp blocks. Uh, I'm debating between a couple different color schemes, so I've just been playing around uh, over here with some X-Tones. Um, but there was an update, and we can't use the Island Home command anymore. So now what I've done is I made the long run back to my portal <laughs> via boat, and um, I went ahead and got an Ender Crystal, the one that we had that teleports us back home. I went ahead and removed that because we can just use the Home command for that. Um, but anyways, I've set up a little portal here where we step out and take this teleporter over to our home base so that we can do our, uh, we can do all of our Thalmcraft stuff over here. Um, so anyways, what I want to do next is I want to go ahead and toss in a piece of coal and then 10 rotten flesh. There we go. We got 10 tallow and, uh, we'll go ahead and just dump that. And, you know, I had actually made, um, I don't know if you noticed, I'd made some vials because I had a, a dumb attack. I was thinking I could bottle them up. But what I was meaning to make is, um, oh, it's the little the little shards. These right here are the quartz slivers, but um, they require that we have, um, I think we could get them with, uh, yeah, we could get them once we get into steam power. Um, I think to get the slivers, but, uh, so yeah, we're not gonna be able to get those right now. Um, but anyways, I want to get some tallow and what I want to do is complete hedge alchemy. And then there's going to be another step. We have to craft gunpowder, slime ball, ink sack, and glowstone dust. And to do this, we're going to need, uh, gunpowder. We're going to need a slime ball. We're going to need ink sack and we're going to need glowstone dust. Okay. So I want to go ahead and get this stuff started today um, in this episode but we'll probably finish up uh, maybe next in the next episode so anyways we're gonna have to make ourselves a piece of glowstone Let's see medium covalence dust it's low covalence dust brass dust a little bit of mana uh, for that and nine of them would be enough for us to make a single piece of glowstone so let's go ahead and do that which isn't gonna be fun um, to actually get the brass dust, though. And then we're going to have to make a bunch of this. Ooh, okay. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Which, actually, I think I have a piece of illumination powder over here. I believe so. Um, that we've gotten from, a, from an astral sorcery temple. No, I don't think we do. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get... Uh, I figure we'll start with this one because I think this one's going to be the worst. Uh, the brass dust is zinc and three times copper, or we can break down uh, brass ingots, which we've got those. And so I think that would be the best option for us. Um, let's go ahead and do four crafts. Okay, so there's a flint mortar, and then we'll get our four brass dust. Easy enough. And then the... Let's see, the medium covalence dust. We're going to need covalence dust and mana, and we'll use one bucket of mana for this. So I'm going to need 16 low covalence dust and 16 redstone. And, of course, I'm just going to squeeze this stuff down. Oh, and there was another stream since I cut, and we got this stuff up here uh, put in. 
and uh, worked a little bit on the upstairs and started designing out the pathway to go to the upstairs and and all that. And I've actually, oh, there was a creeper that exploded, but I have fixed that. So, but yeah, and and then we put little uh, storage nooks in here with rustic cabinets. So, okay, so there's our low covalence dust, and then we need to get our medium covalence dust, which was brass. Uh, let me just shift click it in there. Um, okay, so there is, I'm going to need a new mallet. Okay, so there is our 36 low covalence dust. Okay, and then we have to make illumination powder, um, which is covalence dust, glass dust, and salus mundus. So I'm going to have to make up a little bit more of the salus mundus, uh, which is fine. I'm going to need, uh, well, two crafts should do it, which it looks like I am going to need some more glass. And we're going to have to take this stuff and break it down uh, to get our glass dust. Okay, so there's two salus mundus. Uh, which should be, like I said, it should be enough. We should only need nine illumination powder for this. Okay, so to make our uh, luminous crafting table, uh, we can do it here in the basic work table. It's going to be six of any marble. And then we're going to have to get some sooty marble, which we can do with marble and low-grade charcoal in the alchemy, or the arcane ashes, the alchemy array. So let me grab this. Oh, I had two Salus Mundus in here. Oops, well, well, we'll need it. I forgot I made extra um, when we made some earlier. <laughs> it's been a little while, actually, so. Uh, okay, let's grab ourselves just like six, seven. And then we're also going to need 2,000 mana. So I'm going to go ahead and just dump two buckets in there. I'm going to have to fill that up before too long. And, yeah, well, it's still over halfway filled, but. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So, marble... And low-grade charcoal. There we go. And we're going to give this just a second to run. And we'll get our sooty marble. Kind of like diving into Thongcraft and diving into a little bit of Astral Sorcery and all kinds of stuff today. Um, so we'll go ahead and set this there. And then uh, what, did, what tool did I need? A saw. Okay, so there is our Luminous Crafting Table. Woot. Your vision expands. You learned more about exploration. Okay, which we'll get into that later. Um, we're going to go ahead and just set this up like right there. And then we're going to have to open up this. So I'm going to pull up that, which probably fell into, yeah, it fell into there. That's fine. I'm going to leave it there for right now. Um, because this little, this little crystal is going to need to be able to see the sky. So let's go ahead and give it that. We'll go ahead and open this up. And remove these marble pillars. Okay. So we should be good now. And you can see we've got some starlight in there. So let's go ahead and place out our illumination powder. And then we need to make ourselves a wand. Uh, the resonating wand. So this is going to take demonic wheel, brass plates. Oh man. <laughs> good. Good stuff. So we're going to have to start into a little bit of blood magic too. <laughs> so all all the magic mods will be like pretty much started um, for the most part. Unless you count like deep mob learning or something as a magic mod. Which I don't really, I think it's more of a tech mod, techie mod. Um, okay, so we're going to have to get ourselves some snares. Some rudimentary snares. Which take more low covalence dust. Uh, coagulated blood and glass shards for eight of these. And coagulated blood, it's that. Uh, we can pour blood out. We're going to have to melt rotten flesh. And it's 160 millibuckets per blood. Each one of these is 40. So it's going to be four per. Um, and I plan on making a few of these. Let's go ahead and do like 16, I think. And I'm not really sure if we need... Uh, See, let me grab this cast out. I'll throw this into there. And I think we're going to need a pan cast for this. I think. Oh no, it's, uh, it just does it. Okay. Well, luckily, Rotten Flesh cooks, like, super fast. Um, now, in addition, we're going to need some glass shards, which, of course, are easy enough. 
and then we're going to need some local valence dust. So let me pop over here. Let me get some glass shards, which, um, okay, we're pretty much just going to have to break, break the glass for that. There's 22. That should be plenty. And then we're going to need more local valence dust. Um, I don't know. I could start with uh, four of these, and we could just we could roll with it and see what uh, see how many we get before I have to go make more local valence dust, or I'll oh, see if we can get a demonic wheel. Anyways, well, it's gonna take a second for that to run, so let me just pop over and do that. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna need two brass plates, and then the rest of it's all pretty much straightforward. I mean, brass is easy enough, anyways. Okay, so there's a bunch more covalence dust. That should set us up pretty good, I think. Okay, I'm going to have to get a new hammer. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a bronze hammer. Hammer. Um, I think I broke my other one. So there's some double brass ingots and some brass plates. Quest completed. Get down to brass tacks. And then this stuff. I'm still waiting on that. Okay, so I'm just going to set this up so we can quickly craft whatever we end up needing. I'm just going to craft these one at a time um, so as not to waste extra resources because once we, well I think we'll probably need more than one snare um, because I think this wheel, because we're not actually going to be starting blood magic technically. Yeah, can see we're going to need one for the blood altar, lighter, um, the tartaric gems, and so on and so forth. Okay, well luckily the sun is setting, so I'll be able to go out and use that to my advantage. Hopefully find a couple mobs, hopefully get the wheel that we need once this is done. Okay, so there's our coagulated blood drop. And I don't really want you right this second. If you would have came like a minute from now, that would have been great, but... Right now, it's not ideal. Okay, and then we need, uh, what is it, hammer or something? Oh, it's the cutters. Okay, so there's our snares. Or there's our first eight snares. We may need more of these. I know uh, it seems like it took Xavian and Tyler a lot of these to get theirs. Because um, I know they were talking about it for a bit, but uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, here's a zombie. This one seems good, too, because he... All he has is like legs on, doesn't even have a weapon. Oh, there's two of them. Good. I'm gonna I'm gonna wound him down a little bit. Man. Okay. Now hopefully this one here. There we go. He dropped a demonic wheel. Let me throw out that and that. Okay, we got a demonic wheel. Awesome. Awesome stuff. I think I scared Jippy because I got excited. Uh, it's one of my little pugs. It's the littlest pug. Okay, so actually first snare. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to put these away. Um, whenever you see those little particle effects, I know I got a little bit excited. A little bit trigger happy there. Whenever you see those little particle effects, it means, you know, kill it because you have a snare. Okay, so that means I can grab all of this stuff, we can throw that in, throw that in, throw that in. I think it's probably the hammer. Maybe it's the saw. There we go. We can get our resonating wand. Awesome. And I guess... There we go. First try again. And that one has a 4.52. That is not a bad demonic wheel for our needs later on. So we'll just tuck that away. I'm probably not going to need any more uh, snares because I seem to be having pretty good luck with those. I know Xavier and Tyler are probably going to hate me, but that's okay. Okay, so that means that we can craft our illumination powder. So we'll just right-click that. And we'll give it just a second. It should craft both of these at the same time because they actually don't take a whole lot of starlight. So I bet you we get 16. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Now that we've got that, this is a bit of a chore to make some glowstone. But we are making glowstone prior to going to the nether. So 
To be fair, it should be a bit of a process, I think. Okay, so now we need medium covalence dust, illumination powder, through the alchemy array. And we're going to need nine of these. So let's go ahead and just set up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll go through and place this in. And then that. There we go. We're about to have some glowstone. And actually, since we're crafting it this way, it might possibly... We may not have to make any right now through the crucible, but we'll see. All right, so now we can take all of this stuff, combine it together, and there we go. Quest completed, quest completed. bippity boppity boo and glowstone dust. Okay, we're actually completing a few quests. I don't think... Uh, oh, this one does have a reward. We get an aquamarine and a level. We'll go ahead and take that stuff. Okay, so let's see. It did count that. It did count the glowstone. Awesome. Um, so I'm not going to worry about making any of that right this second, but I am going to tuck this away safely, and we're not going to we're not going to craft it like we just did ever again. <laughs> we're going to make sure and save this. I'm just going to dump this into there for now. Okay, now the other things that we need are gunpowder, slime balls, and ink sacks. Okay. Now some of the stuff, if you may, if you can craft it like in a crafting grid, you can bypass the need to. Do it through the crucible, um, but honestly, the crucible stuff's not going to be that bad. So let me just grab some gunpowder. Now, slime balls. Um, you know, I haven't actually came across any slimes, um, but if we can find a sky island, we could climb up to one of those. And then ink sacks. I'll have to run out here and kill some squid. That's no biggie. Okay, I got some ink sacks. Oh, wow. Torches work underwater when you have immersive lighting. I never knew that. Oh, if we got a jellyfish, like with a water trap, we could do it that way. Yeah, I think slime balls are going to be our worst, the worst thing for us. Um, let me pop over to here, and we'll go ahead and duplicate these things. Um, and I know it's actually getting pretty close to wrapping up points, so I might wrap up the episode here, but we've already got a good start. We got the glowstone made. Um, which I think, I think overall that's probably the worst thing. I mean, finding this slime is going to be a pain, but technically we can get by with just one. Um, so anyways, what we're going to do is for these things, we're just going to toss in like an ink sack and then toss in an ink sack and it'll count it. And then, uh, whoops, gunpowder, gunpowder. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and release that. Uh, which there won't be anything built up in there. Um, but you can see it did count those. So now we just have to get the slime ball. Because um, the, the stuff that's here, like for example, like the ink sacks. Um, well, the ink sacks contain the items that's needed to make it. Because you're basically just making it again. So, um, But okay, so I've got to figure out, I've got to find a place to get slime balls. At the moment. So, uh, I think for this episode, I'm probably going to end this one out here. Uh, next episode, when we come back, we're going to finish up Hedge Alchemy really quickly, and then we're going to get the Everfull Urn. And actually, this is completed. We can go ahead and turn that in. Um, and then we're on to the next part where we have to make Thaumium, and we have to get our theory um, in order to learn it. So, um, and then Alumentum, we can go ahead and turn that in. Essentia Smelting, we have to get all those things. But... Okay, so yeah, so I'm in, I'm going to end this episode out here. Next episode when we come back, we will um, quickly move towards the Everfull Urn, and then once we get that, we're going to start moving into steam power. Some actual steam power, and we're going to start burning through some metal, um, because we're going to be setting up a lot of stuff, and we're going to be eating through a lot of bronze and brass and, and different things, and we're going to be setting up auto-ish uh, steam and, and all that, so... Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys then.